Today we're doing part seven of the Honda CBR buggy. Now, in this video, we're gonna finally focus on installing the King coilover shocks, and we're also going to work on the steering.
So, we got to this point with the steering, and last night I was playing around with it just to make sure everything's working properly and making sure there's no bump steer. Now, unfortunately, there is bump steer, but the main issue is the steering Ackerman angle is all wrong. It does not work the way it's supposed to. If you guys don't know what steering Ackerman angle is, uh, Google it because I'm not the best at explaining stuff. I'm going to try to ex explain it, but uh, basically all it is is uh, say you turn all the way to the left, that tire has to turn more than this tire due to imaginary lines have to intersect with the center line of the rear axle and steering and all that kind of stuff. So this does not have proper steering Ackerman angle when you turn it all the way to the left. This tire is turning more than that tire and it should be the opposite. So uh, I think I, I know what I did wrong and I'm just gonna cut these tabs off and bring them closer in and uh, hope that that fixes the problem. Now I know you guys are wondering, does it have bump steer? Now I've spent the last three days lining up everything, moving these, uh, readjusting here and there to make it to where it almost, almost doesn't have bump steer. Now there is a little bit, I will admit, there's a tiny bit of bump steer, but I'm, it's so little that I'm willing to accept that it is good enough. So let me show you, let me move that. And now I will admit the suspension doesn't travel up and down as much as I was kind of hoping. Um, I do need to remove a bit of material right here because right there bottoms out and that's the hind joint right here is kind of just hitting it. So just remove material and it should be good enough. But as far as bump steer, it is almost, almost all the way gone. Now it does move a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. So, uh, but it's good enough for now. I need to move on. I'm spending, I've been spending three days trying to get rid of the bump steer on this thing, but um, so let's move on. Let's put the tires back on, put the King coilovers back on and put this thing on its own wheels and see if the suspension is going to work on this thing.
first test. Let's see if the suspension works. Not bad. It works. Now here is a big moment of truth. Will it fit through the doors? I honestly don't know. Let's find out. It does fit through the doors. That's good to know. Wow, I got winded from that. <laughs> I am out of shape. So, this thing is finally resting on its own wheels and it can move back and forth. It's a little bit heavy, but I can still move it a little bit. The suspension works incredible. Now, it did take me around two days to get rid of uh, most of the bump steer. Most of it is gone, I will admit there is still some. It's mainly at the bottom of the travel of the, of the suspension is when the tires bow in a little bit. But um, most of it is gone, so I'm going to call it good enough for now. I can always play around with it a little bit more later on. But uh, for now, it's good enough. I need to move on from that. So, the front coilovers, they're a little bit too strong for the front. I can just go on eBay and buy softer coils and slap them on for this thing. I'm meaning to do that for the front. The back, um, the back seemed to be fine. I kind of don't really like how, uh, how much of an angle they're at. They're kind of, they just add a lot of unnecessary stress to this thing, pushing the suspension this way. So I may, you know, if I really don't like it, I may move the top more in this direction. So therefore it's more straight up and down. So therefore it's not as much stress. Plus, it kind of looks a little goofy how much of an angle these things are at, so um, I may change that, I may not, but for now it's good enough, I can move on from that. So I'm not really sure what the next video is going to be, I know we need to do the floor pan, we need to add a lot more cross bracing, a lot more just strengthening, you know, a lot more stuff like this to strengthen everything up. We also need to move the engine forward, and I'm thinking about uh, redoing how I mounted the uh, the sprocket assembly so therefore I can move the sprocket assembly back and forth and adjust the chain tension. Now once we do all of that, once we get the frame finished, then we can disassemble everything, finish welding the entire frame together, which I'm not looking forward to, and then reassemble the frame and uh, then we can start on the wiring and all that good stuff to hopefully get this thing running. Now. Remember, this thing is only tacked together. Every single piece on here is only tacked together with one or two tacks. But yet still, this thing is strong enough for me to jump on it and nothing, nothing, nothing breaks. So uh, now I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me the steering components that I've used on here, plus all the other stuff that they have sent me that I haven't put on here yet. I'll be putting links in the description below for all that stuff, plus all the other stuff on here, the King Shocks, the seats, and all the other random stuff on here that I've bought online for this thing. Um, I will also be at the Texas Pig Swapping on April 25th, 26th, and 27th. More information on the screen right here of where the booth is and the times I will be at the booth. But uh, anyway, I gotta end this video here. Thank you all for watching. I'll see ya in the next one. This would be a perfect place for like a spare tire or something. That, that kind of looks awesome. There's no way I'm spending another $200 on just a spare tire though.
so. Looks cool though. I don't know. It's definitely gonna be a bit more top heavy. Oh! Ow. That hurt. We're good. Well, that's something I didn't take into account for. <sighs> Dang it. So something I didn't take into consideration that when I install these in here, it's going to make them shrink just a tiny little bit. Right now it's like perfect. And then when I put it in here, it just becomes way too tight. So... Got to bore this out just a tad, tad bit more. Yeah, I had to sand this out quite a lot actually to get this to fit again and be a smooth, smooth turn. So now it's good. Something I want to point out is, um, can you see that? I don't really hear it. Yeah, that's uh, that's the hub, which made me think uh, is um, which made me think because in one of the videos everybody was saying, oh, you you do know that these are held together with um, with bolts held held the hub together, and I'm like, okay, then that's why these have play because when I bought these they did not have play, but now that I'm using them, now that I'm putting the tires on, they have that. So, I'm like, okay, then, you know, it's because I don't have the bolts in yet. Once I put the bolts on, it'll compress it together, and it will hopefully eliminate that. But once I said that in the video, then everybody was like, no, that's not how S10 hubs work. It's for two-wheel drive. For I'm, These are for four-wheel drive, so I think it does need the, hub, the bolt in the center, because it does have that. I really don't want these tires to fall off. So, I'm just going to be safe and put a bolt through it. Just to be safe, so hopefully the tires won't fall off while I'm driving this thing. I can already hear it in the comments. Oh no, you broke it! What did you do that for? You cut it in half! It's now worthless! Don't worry, I'm gonna re-weld it and I'll get some uh, more material. I'll weld something in the middle of it so there. These were way too short and this is like the only thing I could think of. I've seen it done before. As uh, I think this is like high carbon steel. Which, uh, should be weldable. I'll should, I should be able to weld this. I'll weld the crap out of it. I'll sleeve it if I have to. But, uh, it should work. I've seen it done before, and it does seem to work fine. It's definitely strong enough. So it works good when I do that. But with the tires turned all the way this way, if I try to move the suspension down... You can kind of see the problem <laughs> with the material right here hitting the heim joint. So, uh, that's another problem. I gotta just remove more material. Hopefully that'll fix it. So, yay! More problems! Nothing but problems! Always fun.